This podcast is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Buy one door a window and get one door a window for 40% off before July 31st. That's 40% off with $0 down, zero payments, and 0% interest. Call 717-727-7558 or visit rbacentralpa.com for more information. A Penn State Abington student has been charged with lying to the FBI. Across the state, farmers will get grant money to help clean up the Chesapeake Bay. Mayflies are hatching along the Susquehanna. Finally, patients at a children's hospital get a super visit. I'm a Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in a PA. Feds have charged a sophomore at Penn State's Abington campus for lying to them, reports the Philadelphia Inquirer. Kamal Fadalif posted over 200 bomb, poison, and weapons-making manuals to various terrorism-related chat groups while working part-time and attending business classes at the school. He was discovered by the FBI after the agency disrupted a plotted terrorist attack in Chicago last year for interacting with one of the suspects. Fadalif lied not once but twice about his involvement and now faces two counts of lying to the FBI, which is punishable by up to five years in prison. Prosecutors declined to discuss why they charged him with this as opposed to, say, providing materials to terrorists, which carries a max sentence of 20 years. A trial date for Fadalif's case has yet to be set. Farmers across the state are getting $14.3 million in grant money from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, reports the York Daily Record. The idea with this money, as allocated from the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, is to help farmers meet environmental standards and reduce pollution caused by agriculture. Pennsylvania farmers in particular have lagged behind other states in meeting goals set to reduce the pollution in the Chesapeake Bay. In fact, the money comes as part of a settlement filed by other Bay states and environmental groups that required for the federal government to hold Pennsylvania responsible for failing to meet clean water standards. The grant programs that come with the money will focus on livestock and includes things like planting forest buffers along streams and managing manure storage to prevent any runoff. Mayflies are currently hatching along the Susquehanna, states the York Daily Record. Several hatches have been seen so far this year, and one recent one left mayfly carcasses an inch and a half deep at Columbia Crossings. Ugh. Since the insects are attracted to them, the lights on the Route 462 bridge have been shut off for more than a month now to make sure that the same thing doesn't happen there. It'll remain so until officials are sure the hatches are over. Have you ever seen these guys? Because they are big and they are disgusting. Young patients at Penn State Health Children's Hospital in Hershey got a super surprise yesterday morning, says PennLive. Each year, Penn State Health partners with a Harrisburg-based window washing company that has workers dress up as superheroes and rappel down the side of the hospital. This year, Captain America, Spider-Man, and Superman were part of the group that stopped at each window to wave hello to the kids on the other side. This was the seventh year the hospital has done this, and by all accounts, it was a big hit. Ooh-wee, is it hot outside? Stay cool over the weekend and read penlive.com. Also, please don't forget to rate this podcast and to share it around with folks you think would like it too. Thanks ahead of time, and as always, thanks for sticking with us. I'm Claudia DeMuro. Happy Friday, and I'll see you Monday to start another week of Today in a PA. This podcast is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Buy one door a window and get one door a window for 40% off before July 31st. That's 40% off with $0 down, zero payments, and 0% interest. Call 717-727-7558 or visit rbacentralpa.com for more information.